Hi everybody, it's Tina here again. Welcome to another Bridge Lesson at Sky Bridge Club. Today uh, we're going to talk about Responder Changing Suit. Last week, you remember, we talked about Responder's Limit Bids and they're wonderful bids because they're so precise, which Changing Suit Bids are not. So, buckle up, here we go. Okay, Responder Changes Suit, as I said. Now, quick revision. Last week we talked about limit bids. I love limit bids. I'm always going on about limit bids. Limit bids, there's only two kinds of bids that are absolute limit bids. One is the same suit. Now when what we mean by the same suit is a suit that's been bid before. So if your partner's opened one spade and you bid two spades, then you, that's the same suit bid. So, so far as you've learned already, the same suit bid is raising your partner. And the second kind of limit bids are the no trump bids. Both of those bids are not forcing, but they're absolutely fabulous because they're really precise. One spade, two spades, six to nine. One spade, three spades, ten to twelve. Can't get more accurate than that. And then we get this hand. It's a lovely hand. We've got plenty of points for game. Partners open the bidding. Have we got a fit? First question. Have we got a fit? And the answer is no. Partner has got five at least, we know. But we've only got two, so that's only seven. So I don't think hearts are going to be the best game. But I've got all these great spades. So maybe four spades is the best contract. Let's see. So I bid four spades. And what happens? I get that dummy. We don't have a spade fit. We've only got seven. We don't have a heart fit. We've only got seven. We don't have a fit in anything. Therefore, it would be best, I think now, to play it in no trumps. Why didn't I bid three no trumps? So I'll bid three no trumps. And then I get that dummy. Now I've got ten spades. So four spades is the better contract. Because we haven't got any clubs to speak of. We've only got four. So three no trumps would be a disaster. I just don't like all this guessing. What if I could just bid one spade? Would that be dangerous? Partner now might pass and not have any idea that I've got enough points for game. Well, worry not. One of the good things is if partner changes suit, you have to bid again. So if I've changed the suit here, partner has to bid again. It is, remember the word, it is forcing. It shows six plus, not six to nine. It's unlimited, not six to nine or 10 to 12, or anything else, it's unlimited. I suppose it limited something like 28, because after all, partner has opened the bidding, so it's shown up with probably 12 of the uh, 40 points. And it's forcing. This is the key. You don't have to hurry. You don't have to guess. If you change the suit, it is forcing. Partner has to bid again, and we can wait and see what partner does next, because that is often the most useful bid of the whole auction. So here's a few examples. Partner opens one spade. Have we got a fit? No. Shall we bid two clubs? Being the lower available four card suit and as you've always been taught to do? No, because you've only got seven points so you have to bid one no trump. You just need a few, even if you've got a, a, a suit like this, look at this, you've got six clubs but you haven't got very many points you can't bid two clubs because a new suit at the two level is 10 or more points so all you can do is bid one no trump this hand of course you can bid two clubs because now you've got heaps of points and you can bid two clubs and see what partner says next no problem so we're back to the hand we started with in the beginning one heart, one spade. That's fine. That's really good. Partner's going to bid. And then we'll see what we do next. So, 6 plus at the 1 level, 10 plus at the 2 level, unlimited and forcing. Right. Now, I said to you that the rules for the responder are the same as the rules for the opener. Lower 4 card suit, higher 5 card suit, longer suit. What's the lower 4 card suit? Here it's 
spades. One spade is lower than two diamonds. So don't bid two diamonds, bid one spade and wait for developments. With two five card suits, you bid the higher first. So you bid one spade. And then you'll be able to show your diamonds later, you hope. Unless partner supports spades, which would be great. So, summary again. I'm pretty keen on summaries today. Six at the one level, ten at the two level, unlimited and forcing. Now, we come to the second part of the lesson, which is you having changed the suit, what does the opener have to do? Remember, the opener has to bid again. And the opener has three choices. Support partner suit, bid a new suit, bid no trumps, and four... I said three, but I meant four, rebid your first suit. Now, I'm not going to talk about no trumps today. I'm just going to talk about supporting partner, bidding a new suit, and rebidding your first suit. The most important thing to do is to support partner. So you opened a diamond, you balanced, but you haven't got the right number of points to open one no trump. So you open one diamond and partner bids one spade. What are you going to do now? Are you going to bid one no trump? Are you going to bid, what are you going to do? Bid four spades. This is what people always want to do in my classes. Four spades. Yeah, but partner has only shown six points. Six plus points. So you just bid two spades and leave it to partner. If partner's got 13 points, partner's going to bid four now. You don't know. All you know is that partner is six plus. Here, well... It's tempting to want to bid two diamonds, but in actual fact, you should bid two clubs. And I want to explain, it's quite difficult, and you might need to play this more than once. But if you bid two different suits, you've got to have five of the first one if you bid a higher one first. So what you've done here is you've bid diamonds, and then you've bid clubs. Now, if you had the same number of each, you would have bid one club to start with. Remember I told you that right at the beginning? If you've got the same number of cards in a minor suit, you start with one club. So if you bid one diamond and then two clubs, you've got to have more than four diamonds. So you've got to have, because if you had five of each, you would have started with one diamond. Does that make sense? It's, it's tricky to explain, I know. So if I bid one diamond followed by two clubs, if I then you're promising five diamonds and four clubs. So I've told partner about nine of my cards. Here, sadly, there's nothing we can do but to bid two diamonds. There's, haven't got a second suit, can't support my partner. I'm just have to bid two diamonds. So those are my options. Now. In summary, the rules for both the opener and the responder's first board bid is your longer suit first, your lowest available four-card suit if you've got two four-card suits, and your higher ranking five-card suit if you've got two five-card suits. Summary for changing the suit, responder changing the suit, six plus at the one level, ten at the two level, unlimited, and forcing. And the opener's choices support your partner always number one. You know, look after your partner and you'll be a good bridge player. Honestly, it's as good as and simple as that. Too many bridge players criticise their partners too much and no wonder they don't do very well. So support your partner, if you can. Not if you haven't got any cards in the suit. Bid a new suit, rebid your first suit and we'll talk about no trumps at a later lesson. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you need to practice now. There's eight hands to practice on the site. And it doesn't do any harm, to be honest, to, to go back over the previous lessons we've covered because it's all good revision for you and it helps to build up a whole picture of what um, Standard Bridge is all about. So good luck and I'll see you at the next lesson. <laughs>